It's Friday night, having a drink on you and us for being with me this long and take a moment to reflect on where we're all at in this community. I realize I've reverted back to my reporting news ways with what's happening in the world because I care about the natural world and what's happening around me and obviously express that and you've been with me and patient as I've done circles around the subject of the predicament that we're in. And on that note, let's remind ourselves of what we're actually in is a predicament which has no escape, has no solution. Problems have solutions. We are in the irreversible decline of ecology on the planet, about to witness untold horrors of massive population decline, refugee crisis like we've never seen before, our food supply being cut, droughts, floods, the Colorado River going dry, the scene going dry, uh, untold imaginable things unfolding. And the people in this community, you guys understand this in this channel, flip-flopped from me talking about world events to group therapy for those that know the end is coming. That's still the description of this channel. And people who come to the channel and think, uh, you know, what are we going to do? Like when when the food supply lines get cut and gasoline's no longer a thing and electricity runs short and, I mean, just full pandemonium and, and chaos in, in our cities. Like what? Uh, who? Well, how do you prepare? And, and you really can't. I mean, at most, um, you have maybe a week or a few weeks worth of supplies to ride out the collapse with, you know, in your bunker or off-grid community, that's your best hope. You know, maybe you form some sort of sustainable community to outlast it, but there's still going to be bandits and cruel people coming for your every bit of supplies you have. It's going to be worldwide pandemonium and chaos by next decade. And this is group therapy for that, as well as me kind of going through my, you know, tangents of being a human and existing, experiencing all this. I'm kind of the litmus of this group of people that you guys are, the doom o sphere, the circle of people that, uh, a circle of, a zone of earth encompassing a group of people who understand that we are an irreversible decline of earth's life support systems and all things that give us security I mean, any which way you look, you know, and for years I struggled. You you guys understand that, and you've, you've, you've ridden with me through the science, the data. This is the information, you know, clear as day. NASA's reporting on it, you know. I posted that video of uh, NASA's top climate scientists protesting. I mean, you have normal day-to-day -day folk now, you know, going up against big banks and oil firms, like average day-to-day -day folk are waking up to the fact that we are completely effing ourselves in every single way. Never mind that the military, you know, uses 5-10% of the world's emissions and we aren't reporting that. Like, every single metric is is veering in the wrong direction and we are overshooting our boundaries for, for life support on this, on this planet and we have no viable option for recovering or managing the conflict. <sighs> Never mind the cops. I just read that Fuck the cops. Every single one of them. The next one, they're going to hold an Azerbaijan? Really? Another oil producing company? No, seriously, fuck the cops, dude. Don't go to them. Don't even talk about them. It's gone from bad to worse. And so as my intent with this video was to just, you know, cheers to you and, and check in. Where's everyone at? You know, are you... Fulfilling your obligations to family and loved ones, to what you need to do with your life to feel complete, because this is the decade, you know, and you can grieve, and we have, that we aren't doing anything in line with reducing emissions or 
changing course, re-engineering our energy infrastructure, changing our food supply, cutting down on meat, going green, solar panels, wind turbines, building new uh, semiconductors, and you know, all these new inventions coming out. It's like, it's literally insane. We're not doing any of it. And I can make a whole video of weird science of new semiconductor technology and uh, what's this new FDA approved sickle cell anemia treatment that reproduces gene editing in bone marrow that fights off, makes the bone marrow produce the disease or disease fighting agent in your body. What does it matter when we have billions of refugees with no place to go, viable food source? and energy infrastructure to support our first world lifestyle. It's like everyone's gone berserk. It's insane. Okay. So this is a Friday night. And I wanted to take a moment to give a little group therapy for everyone that knows that we are in absolute decline, that the asteroid, the comet, is on its way. And that this is our last staple decade that we get to experience where we had everything. We had one day shipping, you know, internet, <laughs> community, at least for most people, you know, I don't go to church. I don't feel the need. Uh, I was listening to Andrew Huberman. He said one of his professors committed suicide. Are these people killing themselves? Like, dude, we got it all coming. You don't need to do that. That's a cheap way out. And for all the, the there's, there's at least half the, the population that's, that's going to say, well, if you would have told me it was the end, then I just had my job at the factory making radiators kept my wife happy and my kids went to Walmart on the weekend you know life was good I would have just kept going they wouldn't even care you know so all this fuss I was getting so angry at normies and you guys saw me get angry on this channel like they're too stupid to even care or would even care when it does go down so it doesn't even matter okay we're gonna lose everything And so I lost a few subs recently. Don't care. Quality now. It's about quality. We're in the end game. I don't need neurotic, um, accusatory, facetious remarks. You know? We're grieving. We're experiencing. We're witnessing. The human race nosedive itself into oblivion. Hands down. So that's great, guys. Thanks for being here with me. And I can't say hello to every each and every one of you. And I'm glad for the ones that stick around. And I'm not trying to turn into a tyrant, a tyranny here, you know, a tyrant or dictator of this channel. Make this all about me, this narcissistic thing, laughing on camera and at my own jokes. You know, I'm very, I'm, I'm trying to be self-aware and present transcend myself, my own existence, you know, come to terms with your own existence, yourself included, you know, I can't help but say, but that I, you know, I saw the woman that would have been my dream partner, you know, at the fast food restaurant with her two kids screaming, you know, that would have been a different life, an alternate course. But it's neither here nor there, because we're here. Thank you for hanging on. I'll talk to you next week. Have a good weekend. See ya.